All right, let's talk about Reflective Floater. So, Reflective Floater was developed about uh, a decade ago uh, by Stephen Fuhrer, but the, the technique itself was uh, known earlier, okay? The main idea behind this uh, was to, uh, to gain the ability to load a PE library uh, directly from memory without using any, any file on disk, okay? At some point, this technique uh, was incorporated into Metasploit framework, uh, which at the time, I think that they were using something, uh, some different method, um, and I think it was called uh, patch up or something like that. But anyway, um, so w when Reflective Loader came out, uh, Metasploit team decided to switch uh, to this uh, new technique. And this technique is, uh, you know, is very powerful because your payload doesn't have to reside on disk uh, and can be uh, you know, loaded and live only in memory. So you automatically bypass any, any AV engine uh, scanning files, okay? But also, you don't have to rely on pure code when you develop your payload. And instead, you can do it in, in high, uh, higher uh, programming languages. So it, I would say, automatically becomes sort of um, position independent, okay? So let's dive into uh, how does uh, loading, uh, loading reflective DLL work. So reflective DLL is a specially crafted dynamic uh, library, uh, which contains its own PE loader. And this loader is exported as a function called reflective loader. Once this, uh, this function is called, it's, um, it starts to, uh, from resolving few functions it, it will need um, at the beginning. Then it allocates some uh, a new memory region in, in the process. After that, it copies its headers and sections from, uh, from, it, from itself, from, some, from attack DLL, okay? Uh, after that, it uh, goes through the import, uh, import table of attack DLL and uh, resolves all the functions needed by this DLL. Of course, it loads, loads all the needed uh, DLLs as well. And, and then after that, it will um, fix all the relocations in a PE file, okay, in, in memory. And after that, it calls the, the entry point in attack DLL, so it calls uh, DLL main. So this is basically how it, how it works on, on a you know, high level, okay? 